Same problem, we're going to determine if these three side lengths would give us a right triangle. Well, we need to know which of these is the longest, so we know which one is the hypotenuse. 8 times the square root of 3 is less than 8 times the square root of 4, which is the same as 8 times 2, which would be 16. So 16 is the biggest number. So 8 squared plus 8 times the square root of 3, all of that squared, needs to equal 16 squared. So we just squared everything, then we got 64 plus 64 times a 3, that'd be 192. This should equal 256. Again, I guess it's more of a question mark right there. So 64 plus 192, that would be 256. Well, does that equal 256? The answer is true. So the overall answer is a yes. And we showed our work. So when we did 8 times the square root of 3, and we squared of these, it's the same as, let's expand this instead of using the exponent rules. So then we got two of these like this. And this is all multiplication between these. So... We can rearrange these as 8 times 8 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is the same as 64 times the square root of 3 squared. And the square and the square root cancel, so we got 64 times 3, which would give us 192. So, yes, I certainly skipped a lot of steps right account between those two. I am happy.